In today's video, we're going to start touching on the topic of the moon landing, uh, more specifically the moon landing hoax. And you can see here we have the poster of Operation Avalanche. This was a movie that was re released recently and um, kind of like pokes fun and a mockumentary type thing of how they would fake the moon landing. And, uh, you know, there's a friend of mine who always said the truth is in plain sight. I know many people say that, but it just stuck with me looking at this and saying, man, they put out a movie as a mockumentary, air quotes once again, about the moon landing being faked. And they used all the details that conspiracy theorists throughout the years have believed to be true. And, and it's just odd. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch the movie, but I watched the trailer and, and all the bullet points in there have touched on every single thing that conspiracy theorists believe about the moon landing. Now, the official story is we have not gone back to the moon. Our last moon mission or our final lunar landing mission was December 1972. So why haven't we gone back? Some of the official reasons have been about budget, where we have spent enormous amounts of money on stuff that's so much less important than building a base on the moon or, or exploring the moon or actually living on the moon, all the things we had heard would happen off of these moon missions. So I, I think this poster is pretty funny because if you take a closer look, uh, it says it's not a lie if you believe it. And you can see the earth in the background that actually someone's using tweezers to place in the picture. Kind of kind of funny right there. And we have other things here where we have different things from the trailer screen caps of how they directed it. And you can see a director in the helmet uh, visor, the reflection uh, directing the actor who is one of the astronauts. Now, the famous story is that Stanley Kubrick had uh, really put forth and directed the uh, the moon landing, the government and NASA had uh, hired him to do it. And it's odd because I watched a sign, The Shining recently, and this stuck out to me. And I know that this is probably old news to a lot of conspiracy theorists out there. But the kid wearing an Apollo USA thing is sort of like an Easter egg or once again, hidden message in plain sight. Why would he wear this specific thing if Kubrick had nothing to do uh, with directing the actual moon landing, which it, it, it's still amongst people believed to be faked, believed to be a hoax. Uh, I believed it was real for a long time. I'm starting to raise some questions, and it was odd enough how one, and, and I'm coming up to the next slide, and then I'm going to have a video at the end, which really made me just scratch my head. So the question is, when they landed on the moon, and once again, this might be old news to a lot of people watching this video, why was there no dust or no blast crater underneath the landing module? It just always stuck out to me. And it's just kind of weird as we take a closer look. There's no dust whatsoever. There's no blast crater. Now, there's video footage, obviously, of the, the landing module leaving the moon with no blast crater on the surface and some magical camera at the time following the, uh, the module as it took off from the moon heading back to Earth. I'm going to have another picture here of the of another overhead shot of the you know the you know, landing pads and they look pristine. And you can see there's no blast crater, there's nothing around, there's nothing moved where where the moon what I believe to be true, what I've been told is that it's very loose dust, much resembling the beach. So that's my next video. I I, I fly a drone. I fly a DJI Phantom Th Standard 3 uh, drone. I have a lot of fun flying in. I landed in different places. And I brought it to the beach one day, and I was looking at this video not too long ago, and I was saying, wow, that's weird. When it landed, just going to show you the video here. So we're going to go here, going to play the video. And as it lands, I want you to see in real time, you can see how it comes down right there. Now I'm going to back this up. I want you to see in slow motion, look at all the dust, or sand, should I say, as it's landing. Before it even lands, there's sand kicking up. And once again, this is full gravity. So the moon is supposed to have a third of the gravity. So this dust from the force of a jet engine at close proximity to the surface should really kick up some dust and I had a ton of dust on my drone which was hard to to clean off so just landing here with propellers so there's not even if you look back here as we go back 
to the left. Look at that. That's an engine. Now I have the propellers, the quad, the, the quadcopter propellers on the drone above the actual drone. This is right there against the ground, and there's no blast crater there. So very odd, at least to me it is. So I'm going to once again skip ahead to this, and you can see right there as I back up. Look at everything. King, and that's about maybe... I, I don't know, about a foot or so off the ground above it. Nowhere near the power of a jet engine. Just the, like a, the four little helicopter propellers from the quadcopter. And it's kicking up a lot of sand, which I needed to clean off of the entire drone. But back here, absolutely nothing. Very strange. Nothing at all. So I, I'm just asking the question. This doesn't make any sense to me. So... Uh, this is going to be the first of many videos as I research this further, but why is there no dust on these pads? Why is there no blast crater? Why does it look like that the module was just placed in play? Like in this one right here, looks like it was placed down and then moved. This looks like it was just placed down right there with nothing around it. It was just placed there like a prop. Doesn't make any sense to me. So uh, make sure to please share this video. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please follow me now on my Facebook page. The link is on my channel, uh, Art. And also, I have a new Twitter account, at Agent S. Vids. So please subscribe, comment, and give me all the feedback and input you can in the comments. I appreciate any and all feedback. Thank you very much. Have a great day.